Wizard Nips. Hi, kids. Welcome to my channel. <laughs> All right, everybody. So I am going to turn this Sportmaster jet into a low rider wagon. There's many ways to do this. You could, um, well, you do have to take the hardware off regardless. So there's two bolts up here. There's four bolts back here that come off. I'm not going to bore you and show you how to do that. Take all those bolts off and you can actually just, if you wanted to, you could cut this off pretty much right there or somewhere around there. And you could weld that tab right to the side here and uh, get the height you want, weld the tab on and uh, go f just go from there really and do something similar off the front with some extension pieces. What I'm going to do is I'm not going to quite build a full frame out of this one by one. Uh, you can get this at a metal shop or this is just a scrap I've used for a couple different things. Um, you can get, you can even get this at Lowe's or Home Depot. Um, yeah, just one by one tubing. And you could make a frame that goes all the way around the wagon and then extends and comes off the front. Or you can do what I'm going to do, which is take, I'm going to cut a 16 inch piece for the back. And I'm going to cut a 10 inch piece for the front. I may even go 14 inches. The front piece is going to set the width of your front wheels. And I may want to go a little, actually, I'm going to go 10 on the front because my front piece with the steering is going to be wider. So that's what I'm going to do. And I'm going to make the steering go a little bit. It'll turn a little bit better doing it this way. So I'm going to do a 10 inch on the front, 16 inch on the back. And then doing that on the back, it's going to extend out a little bit. I'm going to weld on pieces that go up and we're going to bolt a, the wheel on. But I will show you how to do that um, when I get to that point. But first I'm going to take all this off and I'm going to cut my pieces and then we're going to work on the, the back piece of the frame. All right, as you can see, I took the uh, wheels and hardware off. Have that basically sitting all over the place here. And I cut my 16 inch piece of tubing. And you can see there's a little bit of an overhang there. So the next thing we want to do is we're going to build that out and we want to set our ride height. So you need to determine about how high you want your wagon off the ground. I'm thinking mine is going to be somewhere around an inch or so, give or take. So metal to the measure to the center. I'm like right around four inches, give or take a couple sixteenths there. So I am going to make three inch pieces, which I've already done. And I'm gonna weld them like so, and then put a bolt sticking out the side here. Make sure you measure and square off each side. I use magnets when I square these up. And you wanna weld a bolt on here, and then you'll have your rear all done and set up. Um, I am also using, I'm measuring from the back to make sure this is going to be nice and straight. But I'm also thinking about using these holes as a little bit of a guide. And there's already kind of a, a line there to kind of work off of. So I'm probably gonna trace that out, measure it, of course, and make sure everything is gonna be nice and straight. And then I'll grind that section out and weld it uh, and that's it for the back once that's all done up we'll take a look at that what we have and then we'll move on to the front with the 10 inch piece in the front all right as you can see i have the rear axle spot welded on and i also have the wheels on um, just all everything's mocked up there loose that looks a little crooked but it's actually loose um, so I went with a little bit of a wider setup on this one. As you can see, I marked the center too. Uh, my spot welds are gross, but that's okay. You could have put that extra piece on top right here. Uh, on top down here, if you wanted to bring this wheel a little closer. Um, I'm doing this setup with the idea of maybe doing some really fat fenders or something. Having something come off the back or like a bar going up maybe as a handle. I don't know. I have a couple different ideas on this one, but you could see that the back is already set up and uh, the front actually just tacked on as well. It's really not a lot of meat to tack on to there. Uh, but 
I got the corners really, well, I'm gonna get the corners really heavy. So now I'm gonna come off of this frame with a another piece of a frame. So I'm gonna go, I don't have it set up yet, but I'm probably gonna go another, I don't know, seven to nine inch piece off the front here. And I'm going to almost like Z, Z the frame, but I'm just gonna lay the other one on top so that it brings it up another inch because when it comes down and I put the front um, turning axle on there that the wheels are gonna be mounted to, it's gonna drop down another inch. So if I didn't step up the frame here, it would be actually an inch lower than what is in the back because it would be, hang down here. So I don't want that. And I think the easiest thing to do is kind of step the frame like that. And that's what I'm gonna do next. And uh, yeah, usually I bring the wheels in a lot closer, but on this one, I wanna do a little something different. Um, another idea I had was to kind of bolt the axles right to the uh, setup on the next one as I was doing this. But yeah, let's uh, see what the next one looks. Step All right, extended the frame out. Uh, Need to grind it all up, make it look pretty. I used two nine inch uh, pieces on the side and a 10 inch in the middle to match that. I think next time if I do this, I'm gonna make this all one big box. Um, but you can make it whatever distance out you want. Just make sure it's square and the front axle is gonna sit under here, which I have started over here, which is a 10 inch piece in the middle and two three inch pieces on the side. I'll have to use magnets to square that up. I used the drill press to um, drill a hole in the center and then I use a step bit and then I hammered a carriage bolt in there once the fit was really tight and then I tacked it so I'm gonna have to grind all that up but that is gonna go on the frame extension and make the front axle. Finished up the front axle here uh, as you can see it did some grinding I got a little more to do to dress it up might even paint it it's hard to say but um, one thing I did was I also drilled out the center uh, use a pilot, uh, you know, make a pilot hole with a smaller bit. I have a drill press, so it wasn't too bad. Um, but yeah, use a, make a pilot hole and then get a step bit and just open that hole up until it's just big enough to fit your bolt through there. And then, I don't know if you can see on this. Yeah, I attacked the other side of this, um, but it's got a nice round head on it. It's not going to stick out. Um, I opened that other side up just a little bit more with the step bit and I used the hammer to knock it in so it was really tight and then I tacked it and then this is going to be what your entire front wheels rotate on this axle. You're going to turn left and right hopefully um, but yeah here's the axle uh, complete, complete enough to go on a wagon. Like I said who knows how I'll finish it up but there. Locked the front end up and as you can see uh, that's quite a quite an extension off the front there and it's got a decent turning radius if you want a further turning radius just make your your front axle wider uh, this is pretty dang near as wide as the back um, but you could even widen the back out or widen the front out or angle something a little bit of a different way uh, and you'll have more steering but for a wagon that's just a hot rod toy that's that's pretty much it I need to close up those ends too, so I'll figure that out. And I think the next step is going to be figuring out what to do as far as a handle goes. Uh, I have some, a bunch of pipe, but I may end up reusing the handle. Uh, and again, like I have learned a lot on this one. I think I'm going to make a one piece detachable front and one piece detachable rear that screws in or bolts in, I mean, and that way I could take everything off after it's mocked up, paint the frame separately, because as it sits now, once I finish this and uh, paint the frame, I'm gonna have to tape everything off and uh, all that fun stuff. But there it is, I'll see which handle I'm gonna use and we'll go over that next. All right, so I figured out the handle, I'm gonna cut probably right about there. And then uh, I'm gonna weld that directly on. I'm not gonna take the time to lengthen this handle right now, but I'm gonna get it put on there and show you what it'll look like. As you can see, the handle is attached. I'd recommend extending that thing at least six inches or so. Um, yeah, 
this is as far as I'm going to take this build because I'm going to use it as like a prototype setup so that when I have different ideas, I can experiment on this here. I do have a couple more pans and different sets of wheels I want to use. So this would be a good one to kind of experiment on. I would definitely not step up the frame in the front unless you have reason to. I just think it'd be cooler if it was all the same level there. Um, yeah, this is a good base though. Good base to start from. Put some cool ideas into it. Gear shifter, bumper, a little foam motor up front. Whatever you want to do, I think is cool. So if you make one, make a video, tag me in it. I'd love to see it.